This video will cover our MSP billing integration. Some of the benefits are our built-in MSP services and insurance schedule, which minimizes the time required for setup. You can get patient eligibility directly from our calendar module, per patient or in batch. Insurance claims are electronically submitted to Teleplan directly from MyVision Express. Our Teleplan remittance viewer provides detailed information, helping you to fix rejected claims and resubmit them in an efficient manner. Insurance remittances are downloaded directly into MyVision Express, and payments are automatically posted to orders. You can easily manage all claims generated from MyVision Express using our Manage Claims module. This demo will cover the following topics. Setup for insurance billing, getting patient eligibility, creating an exam for MSP services, patient billable charges, creating insurance batch submission file, fixing errors when creating claim submission file, downloading remittance, viewing posted payments from the patient profile and order screen, and finally managing existing insurance claim submissions. To set up My Vision Express for MSP billing, start by going to File, Setup, Company Information. Go to the Location tab and select the Insurance Type. Once MSP is selected, you will have the option to delete any existing location services and insurance companies. New MyVision Express users who have not configured any services and insurances should click Yes to the prompt. This will remove any demo services and insurance companies that the program shipped with. Users who have already configured and set up their services should select the No option and manually remove duplicate services. MVE automatically adds MSP billable services, insurance and fee schedule when MSP insurance type is selected. Enter your data center number, payee number, and the user and password. To change the Teleplan password, click the Change Password button. This will enable you to change the password directly from MVE. If the last sequence number of a claim has to be modified, you can do so by going to the Integration tab and entering the expected sequence number in the MSP section. If the number is incorrect, you will receive an immediate rejection when attempting to submit the claim. After the rejection, you may modify this number accordingly and resubmit the claim. If you are required to specify a service location code when billing to MSP, you can do so under Facility Address Setup. Go to File, Setup, Insurance, Facility Address. Enter your facility information and select the relevant service location code from the POS drop-down. Next, let's set up the doctor information under File, Setup, Physician Resource. Enter all the information for your physicians as registered with the Ministry of Health. Please be sure to enter the physician's practitioner number as this is required to bill to MSP. This number should also be specified for your referral physicians under File, Setup, Physician, PCP Referrals. You can set up additional services by going to File, Inventory, Services. Click on the Add button, then click on the Add Custom button in the Service Import screen. Type the name of the service, enter the Teleplan code in the Procedure Code field, set the retail price and any other applicable information, then click OK and save the changes. You can get patient eligibility directly from MyVision Express from the calendar module. To check eligibility, first create an appointment. You can either add a new patient by clicking on the New button in the Appointment screen and entering the patient's information, or you can click Existing, select a patient, and then select a physician and service. Then click on the checkbox next to the Eligibility field. After you receive a success message, click OK 
and the eligibility file that was downloaded from MSP will automatically open and a yes or no will be entered into the eligibility field. Eligibility can also be checked in a batch by clicking on the eligibility button in the calendar screen and then specifying the physician and date range and clicking get eligibility. The doctor can access the exam module by clicking on the exam menu option. This will open the search exam screen where you can search for a patient using different search criteria. For scheduled patients, click on the appointments radio button and select the scheduled patient. You have the option to use a custom template for the exam or you can choose no template to load all the tabs in the exam screen. Under the assessment tab, you can specify the diagnosis, procedure, modifier, and note. The procedure is already selected from the appointment and populated into the exam. You can edit or add more procedures by clicking the procedures button. Once the exam is completed, you can save and close the exam. In some cases, a patient may wish to purchase an item after their exam has been performed or some charges may be patient's responsibility. In that case, click on the quick order icon, then select the patient and order items. To add exam services to the order, simply click on the exam button in the order screen, then select the exam to be linked to the order. This will populate the exam charges, diagnosis, and exam ID on the order. Any non-billable charges will be the patient's responsibility and will be excluded when the MSP insurance submission file is created. This is an optional step and does not need to be performed if all the charges are covered under MSP insurance. Creating the claim file automatically creates the order for MSP insurance billable services. You are now ready to start creating your insurance claims. This is typically performed at the end of the day. To create the insurance claim submission file, go to File, Batch, MSP, Submit Claims. Select the physician and click on Create Claims. This will create claims for any unbilled MSP services. Any errors that need to be addressed will be shown in the Review column. You can also change the claim status from the screen for example, if you are not ready to submit a claim due to missing information, you can set it to on hold and submit it at a later time. In the submission type column, you can specify various submission types like resubmitted or duplicate claim. If there are no errors to review, you can click on the submit claim button and the submission file will be immediately transmitted to Teleplant and a copy of the claim file will be saved on your computer in the specified location. You can also print a submission report or print it later from the Manage Claim screen. Now we will take a look at an example of an error that may appear before the submission file is created and go through the steps needed to fix the file. Once the Create Claims button is clicked, in the review column, you can see that this patient's exam is missing a diagnosis code. Double clicking this claim opens the exam so you can make the necessary changes. Once you have saved the changes and selected the appropriate claim status, you can then go back to the submit claim screen and click on the refresh button. The review column does not show any errors now and you can click on the Submit Claim button to create the claim submission file. To download remittance files, go to File, Batch, MSP, Reconciliations. Click on the Download button in the Teleplan Remittance Viewer, or click Open to view previously downloaded files. Once downloaded, the file is separated into different tabs to view. The payments for the paid claims will automatically be posted to the patient's orders. If a change needs to be made to a rejected claim, just double click on the claim or click the View Exam button and the exam for the selected claim will open. 
After making changes, you will be prompted to update the linked order and choose a claim status. Once this is done, the changes will be updated and you can then resubmit the claim. Payment history can be viewed from the History tab of the Patient Profile under the Orders sub-tab or directly from the order. To view payment details, including reason for partial payment, rejection, etc., click on the Show Summary button and double-click on the order. In the order, click on the Payment button and double-click the payment to view payment details. To view and manage existing MSP claims, go to File, Batch, MSP, Manage Claims. From this screen, you can view all of your existing generated claims and filter them by physician or claim submission status. Note that clearing the submission status will display all claims for the selected physician. You can also select claim files that were previously created if you need to review them or print the submission report.